Hey, I'm Preston, right? And I got kind of got a problem. So people, they're, they're not doing too well. They're kind of getting infected by the global, uh, the global sickness, I will call it. The global sickness that's going around, right? So they're kind of getting infected, and I kind of want to solve that. So today, I'll be showing you how to use the engineering design process to solve problems, right? So I actually got it on a Chromebook right here. I ran down in my own words, you can't really see it because it's plugged in right now, but it tells me steps, so. Step one. Step one is to find the problem. So what is your problem? Well, I think my problem would be uh, people are getting sick from right yeah and then step two uh, I just did some research quick Google search how to stop the pandemic pandemic to spread how do I stop that and I got a few results Stay home, except when you need medical attention. Wear a mask and just stay very clean. See, people who stay very clean, I got a nickname for them, right? They're called clean freaks. Now that, that's my grandma and grandpa, right? They are so into clean that they take multiple showers a day. I'm not joking. They take like three showers a day and I'm exaggerating by a shower or something. Anyway, step, oh, that step, step two, that's called do background research, right? So yeah, and then, step, step three is specify requirements. So, what limits my solution? Well, it, it has to be, it has to pre prevent it, right? It has to prevent the spread. And then, it must be affordable and I don't know what I wrote here. It says, like, not painful. No, it's fine. I scratched it out. Probably doesn't mean anything. Uh, step four. Step four is to brain brainstorm, evaluate, and choose a solution. So, I kind of thought, and I was like, hmm, what would be a good solution? I got a couple ideas. I got face mask. Okay, that's not too bad. Face mask, not too bad. Uh, could use a little bit of work. Face mask, uh, face mask, face mask. Uh, that does, the list doesn't matter. It's fine. So, I actually came up with a fun idea, right? So, how about we make a water balloon filled with hand sanitizer, so people just. Whenever you throw it at them, it pops, and then all the hand solution gets all over them, and they're like, mmm, I love this. I'm so clean and fresh now. I'm gonna take a shower after this, right? So, let's do this, gamers. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Let's just uh, do this cool thing I call jump cut, right? So it's when you kind of like jump and then you appear in another place, right? So I kind of go like, oh, all right, now we're in the bathroom, right? So I'm going to explain to you the next step of the engineering design process, which is called develop a prototype. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out, I'm going to draw and plan and like, hey, this is how I kind of want to make my my design, right? So I kind of make a water balloon, but filled with hand sanitizer. So like 12 centimeters, five centimeters. I'm gonna tie it up once I have it all. I'm just gonna like think about how it, what it's gonna look like. Next up, I need to test it. Before testing it, I need to actually develop a prototype. So let me just develop a prototype real quick, okay? All right, so I just filled my prototype 
with hand sanitizer. Now, it might not look like it, but it is. So don't ask. All right. So what is now the next step? Test solution. So now we gotta test the solution. So I'm gonna quickly walk outside. By walk, I mean jump, so like this. And now we're outside. So, the sixth step is the engineering design process. Test solution, or in my words, oh, you want help, Bubba? Okay, so, in other words, test out your solution to make sure it works. Now, my dad over there, if he would like to walk hey. here, hey. has a water balloon filled with hand sanitizer, right? Yes. Look at it. Now, you might be wondering why it's not red. Well, we kind of magic. So, he's going to throw the water balloon at me. And I'm gonna not get COVID-19. No. No Rona here. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Nice throw, Dad. Thanks. Now you see, I love hand sanitizer, right? So I just, I'm just gonna rub it all over myself so I don't get the Rona. No Rona in this No Rona. All right, so it looks like my solution worked pretty well, right? I love hand sanitizer. It smells <laughs> nice, right? So, according to my paper, the next step is, does the solution meet the requirements? Or does it not meet the requirements? Or in professional terms, solution meets requirements slash solution meets requirements partially or not at all. Not at all. Our requirements. It has to prevent the spread. Uh, Am I spreading it to my baby sister? Not at all. Say you're okay. <laughs> she said she's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. It must be affordable. It's hand sanitizer in a balloon. What do you want me to do? I don't know. And the not pain? That's probably fine. I See, it just scratched out. I don't care. Yeah. Fine. And the next step. Communicate results. We'll do that back in my room, right? All right. All right. I will do another jump cut. You guys ready? Ready. Yeah. Five, four, three. You're right. It is balloon time. All right. Do you know what we're here to do, Izzy? What are we here to do? She told me communicate results, which is the last step, which is step number eight. Communicate results. So I'm going to talk about what happened, what failed, and what I could improve on. So, what I could improve on. Not getting it on your entire body. Although that might help. It might burn some open cuts that you might have. So like if you get a little paper scratch on your, on your hip and you just splash it, it's just going to hurt right here, right? And uh, what else? I think it went very smoothly. All right. So, what did I do good? I followed all the restrictions. Nothing was bad. It's good. I think I did a pretty good job. Thank you for taking the time out your day <laughs> to Watch this engineering design video. I really appreciate it. You wanna say you wanna say bye? Oh okay. Say bye to Bubba. Bye Bubba. Bye. bye.